I watch so much videos like on a daily sometimes just things with the internet like we have access to so many stories most of them are true stories and you just see the unfairness of the world of how you know it's just designed it was designed in the past in the 1800s in the early 1900s into the late early 2000s just for like some people to be to fare well and others not to and it really just makes you like really fucking annoyed you know especially somebody who studied history okay like you see these things and it's just like life is really unfair like let's just put it that way last year like even last night i was looking at like you know videos that i post on like my snap you know like if you have a snap account um, my snap is I love Anzi. If you want to follow me, it's the same username as my my at on here. And um, last year, I started like I would go for walks constantly, just to clear my mind, to make myself feel better, you know. Because like you go through so much shit in life, I feel like. I've been going through like shit since like I'm a child. It's just ridiculous. But I think like these things happen just to make you stronger and able to survive in this world. That being said, like without paying any attention to it, I without fail, okay, got up and I went for a walk every day. 2023 not maybe i missed the day like you know when i'm just like tired and you know you just lay down because life is hard like you really don't understand till you do like you just have to be like doing everything on your own fending for yourself and sometimes you think about it some people have it worse so you have to just like you have to really be grateful for where you are and like just take your time I remember, like, there were times I would go one time, like, a beaver. And I like to talk about, like, the fact that I go for walks and the things that I see. Because I think everything matters. It's not a case where, like, you can pay attention to everything. But, you know, these things matter. So it's like I never would, like, look into, okay, what's the meaning of this and what's the meaning of that until I did. You know, I stop and I look and I pay attention and I observe and I see the little birds and I see how cute they are. Some of them look like penguins. Some of them are blue and yellow and brown and so pretty. You know, you look down and you see snails crossing the road and little frogs jumping around. And some people would be like, ew. And some people would even like kill them. Like even yesterday on my walk, I saw so many frogs that got squished i'm guessing by people that are on their bikes riding but that's just part of nature like they go into the road they're crossing and then people don't care even i i take the time to look down now because i don't want to step on anything um but i digress the point i'm trying to make here is from me going for these walks i've learned a lot of things just by like reading up about it now that like we have the internet like it would be just ignorant not to pay attention to things so beavers i would say were the are the highlights of my solo adventures so yesterday was may 5th as i was walking i saw one swimming and as soon as it saw me it dived underwater there are a lot in the area where I live now. There weren't as many, and I've noticed that, you know, beavers, whenever they reproduce, they reproduce sometimes in large numbers, sometimes not so much. It really depends. And I feel like because of the environment we live in, they have enough food, so maybe they... And they're always so huge. Like yesterday, I saw two, maybe three, but the, the third one was far, so I'm not going to say that I saw it, really, but I saw two, one in the water the one that I described earlier and it dived under and then one like it just came out of like it's home getting ready to you know work and stuff and it just looked so big it also looked tired like here we go again 
And I feel like that's how life is. And maybe I needed to see these things. Like, you do sometimes need to go through things in life in order to, like, grow and be stronger and not let it weigh you down. I'm the type of person, like, I've never liked to, you know, like, and this is just me being honest, I've never really liked, like, just going to work, like, every day and stuff. And then you realize as an adult, well, you have to be doing stuff every day because you need to make money. You need to, like, tolerate people. There's so many things that you need to do in order to survive, and you see people doing it. Like, people do that every day. They wake up. Some people have it harder than me. Some people, not so much. But some people, they did have it hard, but then they worked towards what they wanted, and that's why they're able to, like, bask in all their glory because of their hard work so it's also like not good to look at people and be jealous of them because you never know what people go through because people go through a lot anyways so me seeing beavers in the way that i have okay i just think that i've been lucky and some people might be like oh like girl hush like why are you talking about like it doesn't matter it does to me it does because seeing animals I've always been an animal lover and that's why they're important to me that's why I respect them that's why I care about nature and that's why I pay attention and read into them anyways with all that the point is like seeing them reading into them watching videos about them just understanding them in native culture Native indigenous people used to call or would refer to beavers as little people because they just use, they're so creative. They use their talent, their God-given gifts to make things happen for them. You know what I mean? They get up, like I've watched videos of beaver, a uh, one beaver being kicked out of like, you know, the nest because like now you're old enough to get your own nest. Right? And that's like a perfect example. And going out there with strong currents and building a dam and being ready to rest and settle in. And then the current to just come and it washes it all away and it has to start over. And sometimes that's what happened to us in life where, you know, like we might get comfortable or we might do something and we feel like, oh, yes, now it's time to rest. And then something happens and we just have to start all over. So to me, they signify patience, persistence, perseverance, you know, unity too, because they do build dams together. And, you know, that to me, just like, it really stands out to me because like now I'm just understanding. I feel like sometimes I do get these signs when I'm feeling down because when I'm feeling down I pray and sometimes when I'm feeling down I pray and I end up crying and I'm like why is this happening to me I don't know how to do this on my own and then I realized that you know I don't have to do it on my own I can reach out to people for help um, and I have to really understand that even when things don't go my way even when like I've already built my dam and the currents wash it all away and I have to start over, I have to learn to be diligent. I have to learn to have some patience with myself and persist, you know, until I succeed. So I actually met someone who said those very words to me and then I ended up blocking him because I thought he was too much and I need to stop doing that too. So it's just really having patience with myself and watching everything unfold it's just so important so all these are ways that I'm looking into myself not just inwards but outwards there in nature and good people that I meet while I'm out there in nature the person that I just mentioned I mentioned him before and I met him on a full moon so sometimes we meet people for a reason and I'm just allowing all these things to come in I'm taking however it relates to me and doing my best to be better every day so that's another part of how I'm healing and I just wanted to